Hello, my name is Fahad Mian, and I'll be presenting a series of videos that offer new ideas for the homeschool community and others looking for something alternative to help make sense of the mainstream. These videos are based on a lifetime of informal learning, observation, interaction, analysis, experience, and self-led research through studies that I've conducted myself. I've kept much of this separated from academic influence to make sure that things remain unique and to avoid undue inferences. As such, these videos are for the purpose of inspiring your own self-inquiry. Nothing I say should be taken as advice to inform any direct action you may take in the real world, but rather to help you learn how to better inform yourself. The series is called Breaking Logic and will involve the breaking of conventional logic in a similar way to quantum logic, although the method and the approach I've taken circumvents the foundation of science and circumvents the approaches that influence quantum mechanics, quantum physics, quantum logic, etc. Uh, while still paying respect to the broad foundation and methods of science. The first part will involve creating a physical model of conventional logic. This is uh, something that will be suitable for showing to primary or elementary school aged children as well, as it's a practical thing that you can show them and something that we can all hopefully understand. Um, and the model will be used as an analog to our cognition that we can manipulate while we manipulate our thoughts during the process of solving problems. Um, and it's quite fun. I think, I think uh, it's a good entry point and it's the easiest way for me to explain logic and how to break it while still holding rationale and reason. The second part will involve using our physical model of logic to prove that science is a belief system. It'll also go into uh, some concepts of God and truth while paying respect to religion and God and truth. And uh, I'll also show an example of how science being a belief system has kind of fractured our understanding of the truth. The third part will be part of a, a broader project that I want to get off the ground, uh, which will involve homeschool children taking part in the creation of a new dictionary by taking existing dictionaries, running them through a simple process that I'll develop and uh, informing us, the broader community, uh, on changes that they want to make. Um, hoping that homeschool educators can get on board with this. It's a simple idea that can have ratifying changes to the way we communicate, although not in a, in, in, in a radical sense, but a very subtle sense. Uh, and this will involve looking into the definition of objective and seeing how the definition has become subjective or has always been subjective and the philosophical issues that arise from that, which also end up affecting science. Uh, that will then lead into Part four, where I will show you that empathy is not a virtue. This also ties in with the previous video and has an overarching or over, overall narrative throughout this entire series, uh, focusing on the importance of creating a distinction and holding a distinction and being aware of a distinction between objectivity and subjectivity. I hope you can join me through these uh, series of videos and if you're interested in collaborating with ideas to help the community please reach out let me know 